Hi, my name's Reese. I work at my shop called The Edge in Solana Beach, California, and these are my do's and don'ts. Oh, yes, please clean yourself. And I'm very vocal about that kind of thing. I will green soap you. Like I will like green, especially with feet. People don't wear socks with their shoes. I get it, we're in California, you don't wear socks, that's okay. But don't come in with a tattoo with that kind of a shoe, just wear flip flops. Like, yeah, just make sure, you know, you're smelling good. But if your armpit stinks or something like that, I actually have extra deodorant. Like I give to my clients, I'll spray you with Axe if I need to. Client hygiene, do shower before a tattoo. Don't wear shoes without socks. <laughs> Tipping your artist, definitely want to tip your artist. Don't tip them with sexual favors. <laughs> Do you want to expand on that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have had, I don't know what it happened was, I've had, had a guy be like, you know, I give the business. And I was like, what the f does that mean? Okay, good for you. No, I, I give the business, so. You know, as your tip. And I was like, oh, so you want to give me your tip as a tip? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you know, I don't want your sexual favors as a tip. Like, I don't want that. Now, mm -mm. as far as the tattoo artist goes, don't give anybody face tattoos if they're not heavily tattooed already, if you already haven't discussed with them what their jobs are or whatever. We don't want to be putting job stoppers on people. We already have a stigma against the tattoo industry. I mean, it's breaking, thank goodness. But definitely no face tattoos if you don't have much tattoos. But personally, I think face tattoos are kind of hot. So if you got a lot of tattoos, send it. If you don't, no. I know personally, I'm not tattooing anybody's face unless like I feel good about it in my, in, intuitively. If you don't look like you're heavily tattooed or that you have, you like, even for your job, I'm just looking out. Like, I just wanna look out for you. You can probably go get it done by someone else and that's totally fine, but as long as it's not on me, okay, cool. I just had, I just had a guy ask me for a throat tattoo and I wanted to do it so bad, but he was like, this is my first tattoo. And I was like, <sighs> so no first tattoos as your throats. Like the same thing with your face, no face tattoo, unless you're getting eyebrows, like, it's totally different. If it's permanent makeup, then you're good. But as far as like imagery or something like that, if it's your first tattoo, absolutely no throat, uh, face or hands. Um, but if you're heavy, if you're heavily tattooed, send it, do your thing, yeah. DMing on Instagram, I'd say do. Yeah, let's, I would definitely DM me on Instagram. That's totally fine by me. I teach social media to tattoo artists. So it's one of those things that DMs are pretty big, standardized. It's like where, it's like your email without the email. So that's how you nurture your potential clients. So DMs are great. Booking through DMs, what I naturally say is you can. However, what I recommend is having a format a pre-worded format that just says, hey, thanks for your interest in my work. Please email me here with all this stuff just so I can, it just helps me stay organized. When you let them know that it helps you stay organized, they wanna help you win. So, and they email you, and then you can collect the email address and all that good stuff. So yeah, DMs are great. Don't complain, period. Like, period. Don't complain, it's not funny. Even when you fake complain. It's not funny. Don't complain. It's like, oh, it hurts. Like, that's not funny. Don't do that. Uh, yeah, no, complaining is no fun because it already puts into the artist's mind that you're hurt. And we think about that stuff. Like, we're not here to try and hurt you. We're here to make good art. Like, you know, yeah, we're sadists in a way. We, we make money putting pain on people, but it's one of those things where it's just like, no, we don't want to hurt you. So when you put it in our mind, we're stressed. We're already stressing a little. Like even when we don't show it, we're stressing. We want to make sure we give you a good tattoo, but we want to do it in a timely manner and do it well and all the things. There's a lot of variables involved. So just don't complain unless you're going to tap out. Then just just be a man or a man about it. Just be like, listen, I'm done. I'm like, okay, we're good. If I can tell someone is struggling with the tattoo, I'm going to tap out for them. 
And so if they're struggling, because no matter what, when you are tattooing someone and they're struggling, they're already mentally defeated, even though if they're trying super hard to stay still, their skin is now at the point where um, even their whole body is, it's really mind over matter when it comes to this stuff. And it's what the, the science behind it is, is that your skin won't even heal right, even if I were to force you to finish the tattoo and you were able to sit for it anyway. So you would have to come back and get tattooed again. And, and I would have to tattoo over scarred skin, even though it's two weeks and it's already healed or whatever. It doesn't matter. Even if I'm like the best technical tattoo artist, if I'm pushing you and you're mentally over it, then it's not gonna work out. So I would say that for the artist, don't push your clients. And for the the person getting tattooed, the client, is don't push yourself either. However, also don't be a big baby either. <laughs> Okay, so definitely you want to consult with your artist before getting a cover up or before getting laser. I think it really depends on the artist. If you're trying to get a cover up, allow the artist that you want to get you want to get tattooed by to determine what needs to happen. For me personally, when it comes to doing if it's too dark, I ask the person to go get some laser so that I can lighten up the tattoo in order for me to mask that instead and give them something that they actually want instead of something they have to get in order for it to be covered. But as far, it, I think, yeah, it's definitely up to the artist as far as like whether or not you're gonna do a cover up or ask for some laser first before a cover up. Tattoo gun is a don't. Don't say it. Whenever someone says gun, I'm like, I'm gonna fucking shoot you. I'm, you know, I mean, I guess I kind of get it because I am penetrating you with a needle, but I'm not shooting you with a needle. That's like drugs. So I would say don't, don't tattoo gun. Definitely tattoo machine. It's a machine.